Hi friends, welcome back. So today we're doing a Shop My Stash and I haven't done one in four weeks. To be completely fair, it was my favorite makeup. So, you know, I needed some time, but then also I got some new makeup that I wanted to play with and I just felt like I wanted to use kind of whatever I wanted. Sometimes I feel like that and that's the way it is. And then I don't force myself to switch up my makeup. However, today we are going to switch everything up, but before we get into that, I will talk a little bit about the makeup that I have used for the past couple of weeks. Let's start in here. My Pixie Highlight, you guys know she's, she's incredible. I just, mm, I had a hard time letting her go and not using her because she's incredible. I kind of get a little bit anxiety when I have gone this far with, with my highlight, but I know that there's still plenty much left. And if I use this up, I will repurchase it again. I have already repurchased it once, but you know what? I have no problem repurchasing it because it's fabulous. My Stila palette, oh my lord, I love her. Really changed my mind about this. Um, she's incredible, especially this pink shade, love it. Natasha Denona Love Palette, now Bloom Palette. This shade, don't know if you have experienced this, but my shade actually dried. I realized when I tried to apply it that it didn't really want to blend out. So I tried it with a sponge, I tried it with my fingers and it did not work. So what I did was that I put in the Revolution Pro, um, it's like the Duraline, but from Inglot. The Duraline from Inglot, but I have the one from Revolution Pro. So I just put in a bunch of drops in this one and then I let it sit for the next, or to the next day and now it, it's like, you know, all good again. So just a tip if that has happened to you guys as well, because I know that a lot of you guys have purchased this. Let's go into my other little makeup bag. This is the product that I talked about that is from Revolution Pro. This is the Mixing Liquid. I gotta be honest, I love this shit. You can see I've used half the bottle. I've used this in mascaras. I've used this in liquid lipsticks. I've used this on my cream blushes. I've used this on everything, so can't recommend it enough really enjoyed this shade or this liquid highlight. This is from Stila. This is the Mint Myth. I want to put in more of my liquid, um, oh my god, brain freeze, liquid shadows. So I think I'm going to do that on this rotation, but this is just so pretty. It's like a blue green. Anyway, um, I had so much fun with my foundations. I would say that these two are probably some of my favorites, but then my all time favorite, not all time favorite, but I got this one, which is a new one. This is from Bare Minerals and this is the Complexion Rescue. Oh, if you saw the video where I used this, I was mind blown. I have a subscriber that I've had for, I, I can't even remember how long. I love her. Her, oh my God, what is her name? She has a profile picture of a cat. She's named Celeste or something in, not in real life, I think, but her channel name is something like that. And she said that she had gone through five tubes of this. So many of you guys were like, oh my God, this is so beautiful, yada, yada, yada. It is, it's, it's, unreal. I also really loved having in some powder blushes because a lot of the times, you know, I, I, I've worked so much lately and this has been a rescue for the days where I'm so stressed. I don't have time. So I've just slathered this one on. That was one of the days today and I just slathered this one on because creams needs a little bit more attention. Um, what else can I say? Oh, these ones. So I have the Milani one here and I have the Ilamasca one here. The Ilamasca one is a thousand times better. I've talked about this so much on my Instagram. This is incredible. And if you want to get this, Look Fantastic has an enormous sale for like Mother's Day because it is Mother's Day on Sunday here in Sweden. This doesn't break up your foundation. I've really been loving this. Um, you can use the code Paulina20 if you want to get some discount and the link in my description box. It is an affiliate link, 
but it really helps me out. So if you wanted to support my channel, that's a way to do it. Um, this one I'm a little bit unsure about. I think it actually broke up my foundation, so I kind of got to try it a little bit more. So I recently started a um, Pandos palette, and that has had me super occupied, but then also that I've gotten so many new palettes. So I thought that we could just go through everything a, a little bit. So I'm not going to talk about my Pandos palettes because I feel like that is a series in of itself and that doesn't really have anything to do with my shop, my stash. So what I try to do is to focus on specifically those shades that I pulled in my Pandos eyeshadows. Let's start off with this one. So I'm gonna be honest, I haven't used this a whole lot. I think I've used this a couple of times and I was not very good or I haven't been very good at showing you guys all of the looks that I've done. I did a look with this one that I didn't feature. I know that because I used this for the first time, like my the first time like a month ago when I started using this. I know that I forgot to show the look to you guys, but then I did a super dramatic look using this one all over the lid, like an all matte look that I had in some of my, some of my videos and I loved it. I specifically wanted to use this shade and see if I could um, work with it and blend it out so I kind of had this as a base and then I went in with the red and that w uh, worked okay I had the eyeshadow primer from ABH as a primer so <laughs> that didn't work out too well but nonetheless then we also had the it's my pleasure palette again I haven't used this too too much if I'm gonna be totally honest I felt like I didn't get that much time with it same with the Norvina palette. I didn't get too much time with it, but I got enough time to hit pan in Dazzling, which was pretty neat. Um, I really love Dazzling. I think it looks absolutely beautiful and sophisticated. Then the gold palette, you guys, oh, I cannot talk enough about how much I love this and how much I've fallen or re-fallen back in love with this palette ever since I put in these shades. Even like Nicholas, he never noticed my makeup if I have like a neutral makeup look. Like if I have a lime green all over my eyes, he's like, whoa, cool makeup. But if I have like this and this on my eyes, he would never notice. But he has complimented me so many times when I've used this. He was like, oh my God, your eyeshadow is so pretty. Your makeup, he actually said. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's talk about my new palettes now. So, the first one is actually the Sultry palette. This one I bought, um, I've talked a little bit about it, but quality-wise, fantastic. I just did a declutter video, and I'm gonna be totally honest, I decluttered this one. These tones, I, do, I don't love them on my eyes. Nothing wrong with the quality, but the tones, I don't love. And if we take away the shade Fresh and Noir, there's only Twig and Dystopian that I enjoy, and those shades I have in my Going Coconuts palette. I feel like there isn't enough variety for me in this palette, so I'm, I just, I'm not gonna keep it. Then, I also, if you saw my Monday video, I got this one. So this is the NYX Modern Dreamer palette. This was a Sponsored video that I did with Lyko. I will have them linked down below in case you wanted to check them out. It's a Swedish brand, a Swedish website. This I've used a handful of times. I used the Soldier palette today and then I wiped it off. I used, then I used this one super quick. This one, this one, and the Juvis Place Tri palette. So just did a super quick and easy look. Um, this palette I haven't really shown to you guys. I got this from my mother. She had bought this and she didn't use it. So she gave it to me and I just, I was like, oh my God, I've wanted this so much, but I've never wanted to purchase it. But I mean, look at these shadows. I've had them on a couple of times and ooh, they are magical. Uh, the mattes aren't the best. Like I don't, I don't really like them. But the shimmers, they are outstanding. Let me just swatch the blue. This one doesn't have that much glitter to it, but I would never complain on this one. Oh, and I wonder what would happen if you kind of layer this on top. Ooh, 
such a pretty look. Last up, I bought the Norvina 3 palette, and I have had so much fun fun with her. I've done some neutral looks with this one, I've done some really colorful looks, I've done some purple looks. The one thing I would say is that I would like to have a little bit more shimmer options like you know a light pink or something but no complaints from me here. Um, I love the formula and everything like that. So now that we have had all of that said and done, let's get in to the uh, selection part. For primer, I am going, I think I wanna take my NYX one. This is a dupe for the Illamasqua one, but I am wondering if this, you know, is bouncing away. I don't know how to describe it, but I will take this one. And I will also take my Milani Camellia oil because I kinda wanna get some progress on this or maybe, this one. I'm gonna take this oil. Now for foundation, I obviously, I want to take this one. I want to get to know her a little bit more. I haven't had the time to use her enough. And then I want to take one more. I think I'm gonna take my Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. We haven't used her in a while. I always hate trying to film my concealers. I think we haven't taken my Catrice one in a while. So this is the con con Countries, Catrice One Drop Coverage. I'm also gonna take this one. This is actually a new concealer. This is the Technic 3-in-1 Canvas. I have a darker shade of this in my purse and I gotta say I really enjoy it so I want to see if I like it under my eyes as well. So this time around I am going to take my Star Island highlight because I don't know if I think that ooh, if this is a little bit too light for me. So I'm gonna take this one and then I'm obviously gonna take this one from Ilamasca. This is phenomenal. And then I will actually take the Ilamasca in the shade, oh my God. So this is the powder form. So I think that that will be enough. I wanna take my Milani High uh, Blush. This is in the shade Pink Flirt. I also, I also, I also wanna take my Nudies. I'm so sorry for how this looks. Um, Nudies Bloom from Nude Sticks in the shade Cherry Blossom. Looks like this, just a gorgeous shade. And then I want to take some blushes from Odin's Eye, which is a Swedish indie brand. I want to take this one. Look at that. That's like an apricot. Oh, I don't know how to describe it. I know that I will describe it as beautiful. Is it this one as well? No. I don't know why this is called Sweet Peach when it's like a purple. I gotta say, I really like Uda's Eye, but the names that they have picked out for some of their products is a little bit confusing. And then this one which is just so summery. And the last one I'm gonna take is my Milk Blush in the shade Perk. As I said, I wanna use my single shadows a little bit more, so I know for sure that I wanna take some of these Stila shadows. This is Yellow Tails, I think it is. Look at that, that is so pretty. I just imagine like a crease color and then this on the lid. Yes, Yellow Tails. But then this color is so in right now. This is the shade Freedom. Freedom. I imagine this as well with just a crease color or like a yellowy brown in the crease. And then this. Mm -mm -mm. Also this one. This is Sea Siren. Oh, hello. Oh, let's just take this one while we're at it. Pink, wink, wink. Oh, yes. I want to take this one as well. This is the shade from the BH Cosmetics in the shade 
Okay, I don't know, but you can see it's like this yellowy shade. Look at that. Oh my God, don't you just love it? In the same drawer, yes, this is the drawer that we organized. This is what it looks like right now. I wanna take this shadow. I've been lusting over this. This is the Natasha Denona Gray Brown or Brown Gray. I've taken the um, Revolution Pro thing in this one as well. I really like this color. So I think that this can be beautiful, you know, days when you don't want anything. You just want, you know, a brown all over your lid and then this one on top. I think can be pretty. So I just remembered something and that is that I am doing this thing where I want to see if I want to keep some products or not and therefore I forgot to take this foundation in this is from covergirl this is the vitalist healthy elixir so I'm gonna take this one in as well I'm not gonna take anything out if I get overwhelmed I will put it back and then tell you in my update for bronzer I am going to take this this is from Too Faced this is the Coco contour palette this is what it looks like if you are unaware of what i'm talking about i will leave a link to a video right up here so you can go ahead and check that out and then for powder i will take my nabla powder yeah i'm just gonna see what i think about it and then the only thing we have left is lips and eyeshadows and actually for eyeshadows i want to take this palette this is the morphe palette and since this is ginormous as you can see i mean you can't even see all of the shades this is the um 39a palette i thought that maybe it would be enough with this one and one other palette but i will let my app decide for me which is the tiny decisions app so let's pick a palette you can do it like this and just keep on going Ooh, great! So we have the Jackie Aina palette, which is actually a palette that I want to use more because everyone just loves it and I feel like I haven't used it enough. So yeah, this is gonna be really fun. So these are the palettes that I'm gonna stick to. Hope you liked this video and if you did, give me a little thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.